Guide for Beginners to Invest in Stocks 2023 Stocks, also known as shares or equities, represent ownership in a publicly traded company. When you buy a stock, you are essentially buying a small piece of ownership in the company. Stocks are listed on stock exchanges, such as the New York Stock Exchange or NASDAQ, and are traded among investors. The price of a stock fluctuates based on supply and demand, as well as various market and economic factors. Investors purchase stocks with the expectation that the company will perform well and increase in value over time. If the company performs well, the stock price may rise, allowing investors to sell their shares for a profit. However, if the company performs poorly, the stock price may decline, causing investors to lose money. Here is a guide for beginners to invest in stocks in 2023. But before we begin, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for such amazing and informative videos. In addition to potential gains from stock price appreciation, some companies also pay dividends to their shareholders. Dividends are a portion of the company's profits paid out to shareholders on a regular basis. Investing in stocks can be a way to potentially grow your wealth over time, but it's important to understand the risks involved and to conduct thorough research before making any investment decisions. Investing in stocks can be a great way to potentially grow your wealth over time, but it's important to understand the risks involved and to approach it with a solid plan. 1. Educate yourself. Start by learning as much as you can about the stock market and how it works. There are plenty of resources available online, such as financial news websites and educational articles. Consider reading some books about investing to gain a more in-depth understanding. Educate yourself means to learn about a particular topic through various sources of information, such as books, articles, videos, online courses, or expert opinions. In the context of investing in stocks, it is important to educate yourself on the workings of the stock market, the different types of investments available, and the risks and potential rewards associated with each investment option. By educating yourself, you will be able to make informed decisions about your investments, develop a clear investment strategy, and avoid making mistakes that could result in significant losses. Moreover, as the stock market is constantly evolving, it's important to stay up to date on the latest news and trends to make the most informed investment decisions possible. Investing in stocks can be complex and overwhelming for beginners, but with the right education and a willingness to learn. Anyone can develop the knowledge and skills needed to become a successful investor. 2. Set clear goals. Determine your investment goals and your risk tolerance. Consider factors such as your age, income, and financial goals. Your goals will help determine your investment strategy. 3. Open a brokerage account. To buy and sell stocks, you'll need a brokerage account. Look for a brokerage that offers low fees and commissions, a user-friendly trading platform, and excellent customer support. Opening a brokerage account is an essential step in investing in stocks. A brokerage account is a type of investment account that allows you to buy and sell stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and other investment products. Brokerage accounts are offered by financial institutions such as banks, online brokers, and traditional brokerage firms. To open a brokerage account, you will typically need to provide personal information such as your name, address, and social security number. You will also need to fund your account by transferring money from your bank account or by depositing a check. Some brokerage firms require a minimum deposit to open an account, while others may have no minimum deposit requirement. When choosing a brokerage firm, consider factors such as fees, commissions, trading platforms, customer service, and investment products offered. Some brokerage firms charge commissions on each trade you make, while others offer commission-free trading. Other fees to consider include account maintenance fees, transfer fees, and margin interest rates. It's also important to research the trading platform offered by the brokerage firm. A good trading platform should be user-friendly, offer real-time market data, and provide access to research and analysis tools. 4. Build a diversified portfolio. Diversification is key to managing risk. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Instead, invest in a variety of stocks across different industries and sectors. Building a diversified portfolio is an essential step in managing risk and maximizing returns when investing in stocks. Diversification means spreading your investments across different asset classes, industries, and geographic regions to reduce the impact of market fluctuations on your portfolio. Invest in different asset classes, 
Consider investing in stocks, bonds, and other investment products to diversify your portfolio. Each asset class behaves differently in different market conditions, which can help balance your portfolio. Invest in different sectors. Consider investing in stocks from different sectors, such as technology, healthcare, and consumer goods. This helps to minimize the impact of a downturn in any one sector. Consider index funds and ETFs. Index funds and exchange-traded funds ETFs, are an easy and cost-effective way to diversify your portfolio. These funds hold a diversified mix of investments that track a particular market index or sector, allowing you to invest in a broad range of stocks with a single investment. 5. Start small. Begin with a small investment and gradually build your portfolio as you gain more experience and confidence. Avoid investing more than you can afford to lose. 6. Research your investments. Conduct thorough research on the stocks you're interested in. Look at the company's financials, management team, and market trends. You can also consult with a financial advisor for guidance. Researching your investments means conducting thorough analysis and due diligence before investing in stocks. It's important to research the stocks you're considering investing in to understand the company's financial performance, management, industry trends, and potential risks and rewards. Here are some steps to research your investments. Read financial statements. Review the company's financial statements, including its balance sheet, income statement, and cash flow statement to understand its financial health, profitability, and cash flow. Look at valuation metrics. Review valuation metrics such as price to earnings ratio, price to book ratio, and dividend yield to determine if the stock is overvalued or undervalued. Analyze management. Look at the company's management team, their track record, and their experience in the industry. 7. Stay disciplined. Don't let emotions guide your investment decisions. Avoid reacting to short-term market fluctuations and focus on your long-term investment goals. 8. Monitor your investments. Keep track of your investments regularly, but avoid checking too often as this can lead to emotional decision-making. Instead, review your portfolio on a quarterly or annual basis. Remember, investing in stocks comes with risks, and there is no guarantee of returns. However, with a well-thought-out plan and a disciplined approach, investing in stocks can be a rewarding and potentially lucrative long-term strategy. So, if you're interested in learning more amazing information, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to get notified by our new videos. Please like and share the video, don't forget to comment down your views on this. Thanks for watching till the end.